So in terms of triggers based on motion, I've got a whole bunch of those Kera Zigbee based little motion and light sensors around the place, which is great. But the other thing that we can use to detect motion and trigger events is Ubiquiti cameras. So there is the Ubiquiti Unify Protect, I think I got all those words right, integration within Home Assistant. Now through here is my garage and I've got one of the Ubiquiti G4 dome cameras sitting up on the ceiling on top of the beer fridge because you want to see who might go for your beer. Uh, and of course I've got my car in here as well. Now one of the things about walking into this garage is that as you can see here it's always kind of dark. Now there is a light switch just around the corner so I could just manually toggle that on and there is a Shelly behind it set up as an edge switch so I can manually toggle the light on and that's fine. But also one of the things that often happens is people go in here, they go into the fridge, not necessarily after my beer, and then they walk back out and they leave the light on. So by having the Shelly in there and by having the motion sensor in the camera, not only can I turn it on, I can turn it off. So if I now start to walk into this garage and then the only thing is, oh, that one actually did come on pretty quickly. I was gonna say the only thing is, it can take a little while for that Unify Protect camera up there to send the motion event through to Home Assistant. But in this case, it's worked pretty well. The beer fridge is safe, the GTR is safe, everyone is happy, and of course that camera is constantly recording in 1080p to the G4 domes into the Unify Protect ecosystem which sits locally and records a whole heap of data from those cameras and all the other ones around the house too. Now those motion sensors from cameras can also be used for external cameras. So, so long as you've got something which can trigger, and the trigger is the cameras seeing motion, and then so long as there is something which you can turn on or action as a result of that, so for example the Shelleys and all the outdoor lights, now you've got external motion sensors. So if someone comes past the house late at night and one of the cameras picks it up as motion, within one of the motion zones that I've configured in those Ubiquiti cameras, it can turn lights on. So you get nice motion sensors without having to buy those motion sensor lights and by having cameras and shellies and things that you can orchestrate in other ways as well. So that is motion sensors with Ubiquiti cameras.